So what I want to do today actually is get underneath the car. We got it up on the stands. We're going to get it up higher on jack stands and get us a little bit more clearance, but I need to start working on the rear end, uh, get these axles replaced. But while I'm doing that, I'm going to be just cleaning up underneath the car. Uh, I should be doing brakes and brake lines and all of that stuff. But what I'm actually just going to do is clean up the subframe and the diff, uh, the rear diff cover and maybe the exhaust a little bit but also the rear diff brace i'm going to start getting things to match and look good and look uniform we don't have anything silver on the car the color combination is red and gold so the diff brace is going to be gold subframe is going to disappear because it's going to be a nice glossy black i think the same is true for the rear diff cover um, i'd rather just have that diff brace kind of pop as a nice little accessory i thought about doing um, the uh, camber arms and uh, toe arms in gold as well uh, just because I'm not a huge fan of, of red honestly even though the car is red uh, but I think I'll probably just leave them red for the time being I think too much gold would just not be cool so uh, rear diff brace is gonna be gold everything else under here is gonna be black and well the control arms obviously like I said are gonna stay red well, I think that's gonna go a long way for looking good underneath the car This is essentially brand new. I've only had this on the car for, you know, 40 miles or something. So I haven't put a lot of time on this, so it's not beat up. It's not really dirty, but I do want to scuff it up a little bit. You could probably use a scotch right, but I'm going to use 800 grit sandpaper. I just want to touch it in the you know key areas where the paint needs to be sticking. Then uh, wipe it down with some mineral spirits like we normally do to make sure everything is clean. I'm going to probably stick it in front of a heater, space heater, for a few minutes because it's been outside overnight and it got below freezing last night. So it's cold metal and paint doesn't like to stick to cold metal. I uh, also have the paint itself warming up. That was out in the garage as well. So I just want to make sure all the conditions are ideal. doesn't take much just want to get give the surface a little bit of teeth not gonna paint this surface you won't see it So there was no grime or anything left on it, but I still took a scotch right to it and also rubbed it down with mineral spirits. So it should be nice and clean, uh, relatively clean to where paint will stick anyway, both the diff and the subframe. So I'm going to start spraying that with some gloss black. This is just gloss black engine enamel. This stuff sticks really, really well. You can literally just spray it on a frame underneath the car, not even really clean anything up, and it seems to stick. So that's where we're using underneath here.
per usual. I went a little crazy under here. Overspray galore, uh, but I just went crazy. Uh, sprayed everything. I took the little uh, heat shield thing out of here because that seemed to be making a rattling noise. So I'm just, I'm chasing rattles like crazy, but we got the whole subframe. We got the underside here of the hatch or the back end uh, painted gloss black, just kind of hiding everything. The rear diff cover looks, looks excellent. Now we're gonna put this diff brace in and we'll get a, we'll get a gander at what the uh, final product looks like before we start tearing into the axles. That'll be its own separate video because it's gonna be in a little bit of an extensive project, but this looks sick. This looks really sick. I'm really pumped about this. The black with the gold accent. It's just a subtle gold. That looks really sharp. Gloss black looks really nice. What I like about gloss paints is that they're a lot easier to clean off and wipe off the uh, debris and road grime doesn't stick quite so much to the glossy surface. So. guys as is the case many times a little goes a long way and just doing some small things here and there taking care of a couple of key details can make a big difference in how your vehicle looks and feels to you overall so a little bit of a dress up a little bit of customization on the rear end especially now that we have the um, the rear bumper is cut and you can see the exhaust and you can see the subframe and you can see some of the things that are going on underneath the car uh, from behind uh, it's gonna look much nicer from pictures it's gonna look nicer at shows it's gonna look nicer from behind uh, in traffic so it, it just goes a long way in dressing up this 350z uh, so I'm uh, I'm always into doing little custom touches little custom details here and there and it doesn't take very long uh, you can you know a couple dollars in supplies a uh, little bit of thinking a little bit of planning and you can really change how your car looks so uh, I'm pumped on it. I think it looks great. I hope you guys liked it too. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. Always looking for other cool ideas to add a little bit of custom touches here and there. You gotta, you gotta make your vehicle your own. You gotta do something that sets it apart from the rest. And I think I achieved that goal here today. So again, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I get to every single one of them. I appreciate your guys' continued support. And if you have any cool customization details or customization ideas for me, leave those down below as well. Thanks for watching guys. I appreciate the continued support very, very much. We'll see you in the next one. Check this out guys. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. <laughs> Coming along now, bit by bit. Like I said, a little bit of detail goes a long way. Just a little bit of customization, to make your vehicle a little bit different. I thought about doing the uh, diff, diff cover in a different color, and maybe I will eventually. I gotta pull the whole diff out when we do the diff bushings anyway. Obviously, you can see. But uh, I actually kind of like the gloss black, everything under here. It looks so clean. And then this silver diamond matte heat shield oh my god it looks so sick or, or uh sound dead or my bet definitely unique definitely unique it's gonna be one of those things that kind of sets this vehicle apart you know even though it's not a show car by any means somebody take, gets a glimpse of it like, hey that's that looks pretty dope sick